Hi everyone, welcome to Inside the Park for August 2009. I'm Misty Lewis and I'm here at the Aquatic Park today enjoying some sunshine and some fresh air. And I'm Jamie Zwilling. The Aquatic Park has two huge water slides, water features, the pool of course which includes lap swimming and there's a concession area if you need a break. And for the smaller folks, some fun things are the sandy play area, the zero depth entry pool, and the shady areas. It's been a great summer here at the Aquatic Park, and there is still plenty of time to have some fun in August, but it does all come to an end on August 26th. But first, let's take a look at some news that we're going to feature here on Inside the Park. We'll hear about a fundraiser with a big fun factor here at the St. Louis Park Aquatic Park. We'll talk to the city fire marshal about life-saving carbon dioxide detectors and a new requirement that may affect you. And we'll meet arts and culture grant artists Margaret Coleman and Josh Hosterman who are teaching seniors how to share their memories by creating art. It's a good way to get a nice opaque color. Yeah, we can do that. First thing, let's talk about the primary election that's going to be held Tuesday, September 15th, and will include the voters in Ward 4. If you live in precincts 14, 15, 16, or 17, you'll be able to vote in the primary election for one of these candidates for Ward 4 City Council member, Julia Ross, Thomas Peterson, or Bill Theobald. The other wards in the city will not need to vote in the primary, just those in Ward 4. The League of Women Voters will hold a forum for primary election candidates on Wednesday, August 26th at 7 p.m. in the City Council Chambers, so stop on by to hear what they have to say. Or you can watch it live on Civic TV 17 or online at www.parktv.org. For information on registering to vote, finding your polling place, absentee voting, or getting a ride to the polls, go to the city website and select City Government, then Elections. The general election will be held Tuesday, November 3rd, 2009, and will include these offices on the ballot. Councilmember Ward 1, Susan Sanger is running unopposed. Councilmember Ward 2, Ann Mavity or Claudia Johnston Madison. Councilmember Ward 3, Sue Santa is running unopposed. The two candidates who received the most votes in the September 15th primary will be on the ballot for Ward 4 Councilmember. And school board seats are part of the general election as well. We'll have more about that on the next show. <laughs> 